My name is Andrew Snow and I'm the Senior Vice President of EOS of North America. And we're debuting today at Rapid uh, two technologies. One is the M290, which is more or less considered the industry standard for industrial 3D printing technology. And also on our show booth, we're uh, debuting the M100, which is the newest uh, product offering from EOS, which is a what I would say entry level direct metal laser sintering technology, really lowering the barrier of entry for customers to get into metal laser printing. Uh, some of the advantages of the technology are very high detailed accuracy due to the spot size of the laser, being a 35 micron spot, and the modulization of the, uh, the technology makes it very easy to be able to load and unload material. Other uh, product offerings that we're offering this year that we plan to introduce is our M400 large frame direct metal laser sintering system with, will incorporate four lasers and the four lasers are being incorporated so that you can have increased productivity uh, whether it would be large volume builds or lots of small parts. Overall we will be trying to look at lowering the cost of part uh, in a production environment. Other technologies that we're offering this year are in situ monitoring technologies. We just introduced our melt pool monitoring technology that can be incorporated with our M290 and our M400 technology. Monitoring the melt pool is really vital for many industries such as aerospace to be able to manage and identify the quality of the parts coming out after the build. We will be rolling out in say another year's time uh, a technology known as OT, which we call optimal tomography. It's an in-process uh, CT scanning technology. So at the end of the build, you'll be allowed to be able to uh, see any inclusions, voids that might be in any given part, and then you can determine where the location of those typical voids are, whether you might need to do any sort of secondary you know, finishing like uh, hipping, as an example, to reduce the voids. From a market development standpoint, you know, we at EOS have uh, been uh, afforded the you know, luxury of being able to grow very quickly. We're averaging on, um, on average about 30% growth per year, year over year over the last four years. In fact, uh, EOS of North America over the last four years has grown 402%, which is the largest growth uh, com com even combined of all the other regions within EOS's family. So North America is a major focal point for growth for EOS of North America. This is where most of the major projects for production or industrializing the process you know, it's no secret that uh, EOS uh, is involved in a great deal of major OEMs in the aerospace and medical industry that have adopted our technology for industrialization and production of orthopedic implants or, you know, flight hardware that are going on to gas turbine jet engines or even into, you know, rocket engines as well.